These Instagram pages have amassed massive followings by creating text-based posts inside their own niches. These same pages gain their owners thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars every single month. If you want to learn how to create posts like these and like these and start up your own Instagram business, make sure you stick around until the end because I'm going to be showing you how to create posts like these and start your Instagram business in six easy steps. Okay, right, so to start off with, we're gonna be going over to the laptop. So you should be able to see a laptop on screen now. And the first step is going to be going into a web browser or on your phone, if you're on your phone, downloading the app Canva. So Canva, this app is totally free. They do have a paid version, but for today, I'm just gonna be using the free one. Um, so yeah, you can do this for totally free. Okay, so step number two, once you're inside Canva, you are actually gonna to wanna to go and create a design. However, you can see there's an Instagram post square. You don't want to use this because this is um, 1,080 pixels by 1,080, as you can see. Um, most of the big pages don't actually use this. They create their own custom size due to the fact that this will only take up a portion of the screen when you're scrolling, whereas this custom size that I'm about to show you that most people don't know about actually uh, fills up more of the screen. So when you're scrolling Instagram after this video, you'll probably notice it, but most of them actually use um, 1080 by 1350 pixels and this is going to be the design we are using today okay right so step number three if you want to create a post like sort of well for one that looks like this you need to follow this step if you don't and you maybe just want to have just a logo or something instead you don't really need to follow this step but it's good to know anyway so to create that little logo where it says um you know it has your profile picture and then the name and little verif verification tick um, I'm going to show you how to do this inside of this step. So you're going to go over to element. So photo frame. Perfect. Cool. So you're going to go down here and you're going to go to frames. So as you can see, there are some frames here. You want one that has a bit of an outline. So I believe this one is the one perfect. So it seems like it's a second one. You are then going to go and add your own logo. So if I go and go to uploads, my logo will be somewhere here. There you go. There's my logo. I'm then going to make the outline white as that is what I usually have. And let me go and make this background black. And so you can see, perfect, cool. So there we have my logo. Um, for now, you can leave it a bit bigger. It doesn't matter too much because we can change the size later once everything is grouped. But you're then going to go, going to, go to text and add a subheading. So you're just gonna put your name. So even if you've got dots and stuff in your name for this one, there's not really a need to. You are then gonna go and get a thin bit of text and put your actual app underneath. Okay, right, so there we go. Now we've got the small bit of text as well. And we've got this here. And next to this one, you're gonna to wanna to go and put an at the start. And this is also gonna to need to be a whole lot smaller. This one, you wanna make it a bit smaller roughly put it somewhere in the middle like that you can play around with this i mean there's no exact settings but this is kind of the thing that i do you're then going to want to um spread out the letters a bit for that one so it's not totally tiny that one looks good perfect you're then going to go to somewhere over here and get a verified badge go into images and you're gonna to wanna to go into tools and go on transparent. Um, cool, right, let's use this one, why not? Copy image, paste that in here. Perfect, so as you can see, it's got, a, as the middle bit is cut out, which is what I was looking for, I actually wanted that to be white, the tick, but we can just go and do our own little adjustments to that in a second um, to make it, Will work out okay so you want this to be not too big that is probably looking good if i zoom out yeah that's roughly the right size so a little fix you can do for this so the tick is always white is you can go into elements get a square um or a circle that's probably even better there you go we've got a white circle now we can just go and make it a whole lot smaller yeah that should work perfect okay right now we just need to go and go to position and put a tick on top and bam now we've got our tick with a white little thing under it. Perfect. Okay, right. Um, I'm going to make this a little bit more spacious. There we go. That's good. Cool. Perfect. You are then going to go and group this together. So group. Now we've got it all together. And once you've made this once, you don't have to make it again. You can literally just copy and paste it onto every single post you make. And there we go. That's how we have our little logo. Okay, right. So now we've made our logo. The fourth step is going to be we need to 
find a post that you want to create. So to do this, you would probably go on an Instagram account and go and have a look at a, a trending post. So I talked about wealth earlier. So try and make one like this. So man captures footage of a of one of the rarest fish in the world. So I'm gonna go here and have a look at what the name of this fish is. Aura fish. Or fish. Right, let's uh go and copy that. Make it nice easy. Or fish over here. And he actually got his from the from the the video it seems like. I'm guessing there's a video attached to this, which there is. But we can just go and get one from somewhere along here. So once you're in Google, you're actually going to want to go to tools again and make sure the, uh, the size is large. This way you won't get any uh, low quality videos. Or if you're on your phone and you're doing this, you can on the phone. I think there's an option to do it HD. Um, but yeah, if you're on your phone, you can go and do that. And that is where we'll find it. So perfect. All right. It seems like we found pretty much the same photo. And this looks pretty good. So we're just going to go and copy this image and bring it over to here. There we go. And now we want to make this the background, but we want to have it um, so the, the, you know, the right parts in the right place. So I'm just going to cut this myself until it fits the background well. That looks decent. So that should then go to the background, but it hasn't. So we're going to put this as the background. Now we have our text over the top, as you can see. So we're starting to get to get to the look of the post already. But if you go to wealth, as you can see, when you go over here, they have the shadow and all of that. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now, totally for free. So what you're then going to do is you're going to go over here to elements and go and go gray and fade. And there are some paid ones, but like I said, we're doing it totally for free. So we're just going to use this one here. What you're going to do is you're going to go and make it really big so it covers up the right part. It's starting to look good. Might need a little bit more. So if you want more, you can just drag it up. Also, if you do want it to be thicker, this is a little hack I found out. You can um, go and copy it. So I've just copied it um, and then paste it. And as you can see, it makes it uh, a bit darker and the fade of it a bit um, thicker. But I don't want that for this one. So we'll just do this. There you go. And yeah, we'll put it somewhere about there. That looks right. We then need to go back into position and adjust it. So this is over the top. There we go. We've now got all of this. Um, and yeah, also sometimes you see some people don't really fix this on Instagram, but you have that little gap underneath, which happens on Canva when you make the post. So one thing I do to correct that is you just drag it slightly below, um, like so. And then now you won't have that problem with the little gap at the, pro at the bottom. And then to fix the fact we just made it a bit lower, we can just drag it and make it bigger. So the shade looks all good. Okay, so step five, you're now going to add the sort of title and the text. So let's take inspiration from wealth once again. Um, man captures footage of one of the rarest fish in the world. So we can just go over here, go to text. Um, you can use any text you want, really. The one I usually use for these posts is called Bebas Nui. I think that's how you say it. Who knows? Um, so yeah, you're just going to make that as the text and then put a title on it. So something like that. We are then gonna go and make the line spacing a bit lower, because you don't need that much space. That looks good, maybe about there. Letter spacing, go and space it out. Um, actually, not. let's keep it at zero. That looks good. Perfect. Okay, right, starting to, starting to get there. So on Wealth's post, they also have the thing swipe to watch. So we are gonna go and put in some text just need to have a look how much space we've got so we need to move this up and this up so let's go and put swipe to watch um and move this down to the bottom once again i'm just going to put it in bebas nui and make it a little bit bigger perfect that looks about good there another thing you see a lot of people doing um to encourage people to swipe is to have that little swipey finger if you have canva pro you can get it from here i think uh, swipe finger something like that yeah as you can see you can get it from here however once again we're doing it all for free today so we're just going to go over here and go and go swipe finger and i'm sure we can find something pretty similar um once again go to color make it transparent and bam Look at that, pretty much got the same thing. Save, we'll save it and we will go and find a color inverter. 
invert colors online perfect this will be totally free so let me just go and get this file and invert cool now let's download this as a png bam and here we go now we have got our swipe finger there we go wasn't too hard bit annoying but didn't take too long and we can stick that in the bottom corner like so something like that cool perfect that is it so we have now created our post then the final step is going to be to go and get a video so if you don't need a video and you're maybe you're just doing a news post or maybe you're just doing a motivation kind of post there's loads of things you can do with this kind of setup um so yeah go and take it and apply it to your own niche you don't have to use it to create like news posts or whatever you would class these as um but yes what you are then going to do if there's a video behind it is you're just going to go and get this video and um get this on wealth so off wealth's instagram i can literally go and get it off their thing it's not watermarked or anything um and they have credited someone which makes it easy for when i post my video i can just credit them so i'm then going to go and go copy link i'm going to find an instagram download here so let me just use something like igram um that should work instagram video downloader and you paste the link in press download oh i can now download this video so there you go i've got my video literally downloaded right now just downloading and yeah, now once I'm done, as with my laptop, the final step, I suppose, would be to go and airdrop these or send these to my phone and upload it from my phone. So that way I don't have any issues with reach as sometimes when you upload from your computer or schedule things or whatever, you do have some issues with uh, reach. So I'll suggest whenever you can posting from your phone. Okay, so now you've got your first post for free. You can then go and repeat this process and it gets easier and easier every time. So if I go back over to my laptop now, once I've made it once, all I need to do is I can just go and delete this background photo and then add in a new one, change the change the um, change a little caption about the scuba diver, and then that's it. I'm done. Um, so yeah, this gets a lot easier once you've made the first one. The first one is the hardest one set up. Um, so yeah, this is one of the easiest sort of businesses you can start today for totally free. So once you've actually made your page, how do you start making the money that I was talking about in the beginning? One thing to note, it's not gonna happen overnight, but with months or years of consistent work, you will be able to have success with your page. So the first way we're gonna talk about is shout outs. This is simply where someone will pay you. You will then sell a shout out or a promotion. So you'll post a post, a story or a reel, whatever you discuss, all at different price points. Um, yeah, and you'll just post that on your page and then link them or you know post the post they want and then that's it you get your money very easy way to make money you can they usually send the post to you however now you know how to create these posts you can also offer that as a part of the service and charge a bit more another way these pages make money is via affiliate marketing so i've talked about this in the past on this channel but affiliate marketing is where you will sell a product uh, of somebody else's product for and you'll get a percentage when somebody buys through your link so they have a link that tracks it when somebody buys through my link i will get a percentage of let's say 50 percent of the profit um so yeah that's another way these pages make some good money with their page okay so the third way is selling physical or digital products so that could be clothing that you that you simply um create using printify where it is a literally a drop shipping drop shipping service for clothing as soon as someone buys uh, your design it will get sent to printify Printify will print the shirt and then send it out to your customer. This is a really simple way to do physical. You can also sell digital products. So you can create your own ebook or your own maybe little course and sell that through your page. And um, the good thing about digital products is you get all of the money. So instead of having the clothing where you know, you've got to pay for the product, pay for the postage, um, with a digital product, it gets sent to them via email and they will get it straight away. Um, so yeah, digital products are quite good but also physical products can be pretty seamless and easy, especially when using a website like Printify. And finally, the fourth way that these pages make money, um, this is one that nobody really talks about, but they do this via promoting their own personal brand. So yeah, a lot of these theme pages will funnel their followers and their views and their virality, and then send that to their personal brand um, so people can find out more about the owners and, and you know what they do. So if you go and take a look at someone like um, millionaire mentor 10.5 million followers he's been around a long time um but yeah as you can see he's got a uh, a pin post about himself um and even down here you can see he's doing some promotion so there you go one we talked about earlier but but yeah um back to this he's got a post about himself he then has himself linked here and yeah you can see he's got 1.7 million followers 
Um, I wouldn't be surprised if this personal brand probably makes him more money than the page Millionaire Mentor with 10.5 million followers because of the fact that when there's a face attached to something, you can make so much more money because there's a lot more trust behind it. And, and yeah, if this personal brand was to get deleted, everybody would know his face. So it would make it so much easier for him to come back. Rather than Millionaire Mentor is a lot harder because you know nobody actually knows um, the person behind it or their face. So another example of this would be Money Focus and Nicholas Pelde. So I know Nicholas Pelde makes tons of money. Um, yeah, really good entrepreneur. Don't know too much about Jason Stone, but Nicholas Pelde definitely makes a lot of money. So as you can see, he's got his page Money Focus and he has had this for ages once again, but he funnels that to his personal brand. As you can see, Nicholas Pelde. Um, and yeah, once again, there you go. He's using this to sell his own coaching and his own courses. So the personal brand is a great way to make a connection to people um, and build and gain their trust to then sell them on a product. Um, so yeah, another thing you can do that nobody really talks about when you're thinking about growing your page. It just has massive potential for helping you out with things like this. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. Also feel free to join my free Discord community in the description as I help people grow pages in there. Apart from that, if you wanna learn how I grew my own page from zero to 90,000 followers on Instagram, totally organic, all in two months, check out this video over here. Apart from that, I'll see you guys in the next video.